Many people have been asking me how I do my brows. As you can see, my right brow is not done. The left brow is. I just did that one, so I'm just going to show you how I go from this to this. So I first take a spoolie brush, and all I do with that is brush the hairs along my brow up. I do that and then I take a small pair of scissors. I am using cuticle scissors. They have a slight curve to them so it fits right along the brow. I got these from Rite Aid. You can get them anywhere in the nail section. I go in and I cut along the top any hairs that go over where I want my brows to stop. The cuticle scissors are very sharp, so be careful not to slice your face off while doing this. After I trim my brows, I go back in with my spoolie just to make sure I got all the little stray brow hairs off. I then take a white liner pencil. Any white liner pencil. This one just so happens to be from NYX and it is called white and it looks like this. I take the white pencil because I want to outline the shape of my brow that I want and this is also going to highlight the stray hairs that I want to get rid of so I pull the hair taut, pull my skin taut so I can lightly go in and get rid of the hair or highlight the hair that I want to get rid of. As you see, I start from the out going in. Remember that your brows are sisters. They're not twins or brothers, whatever. Um, so they're not going to be exactly right. I try to get them as close as possible, but sometimes I do not achieve that. So. Uh, so far, I think I am okay with what I have highlighted. So then we get into the next phase. After I highlight under my brow, I then take a pair of tweezers. So today I'm using these slanted tweezers. I just go in, I can see the hairs, I don't know if you all can see them, but I can see the hairs that I want to get rid of that I have highlighted in white. So I just go in and get rid of those hairs. I pull my hair, my hair, I keep saying that, I pull my skin, sorry, I pull my skin taut again. This for me helps to lessen the pain factor. I do have a high tolerance for pain. So uh, for those who cannot uh, do the tweezing on their own or without it being too painful, if you move in like really quick plucking movements like this along your skin and keep the tweezers close to the skin that lessens the pain. You can also numb the area with a bit of ice or um, a topical cream. I cannot tell you the name of a topical cream right now because I don't use it. And I just keep going back over the area. You can tell when you grab a hair it makes a little sound or whatever or you can feel it coming out and then you can tell when there's no longer any hair in the area to grab. After a while because I have filled it in with the white pencil you may get a little build up. I don't know if you guys can see in the tweezers so I just have a wipe here and I clean it off to make sure I am still getting all the hairs off or as much of the hairs off as I can so always be mindful of keeping your tweezers clean as you do this 
if you uh, again do not want tweeze you can always use the little uh, shaver things like this I use this for my upper lip I'm just keep it real with y'all I don't use it along my brow bone um, but when I start getting a little shadow on the lip like I might be getting one now hmm, I just swoop 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 I don't use it on my brow anymore I used to um, but I don't anymore And I toss them after every time I use them and then just go buy more because I don't want any bacteria transfer. I don't want any razor bumps along my lips or, you know. That is uncute. So I'm feeling like there's no hair left to grab. And I try to get as close to where I put the liner without going over because again I don't want to over tweeze I don't want to get into the basic shape of my brow so that's that and on to the next step so now that I have tweezed most of the hairs away I then take another wipe and then I just wipe away the white liner and can see what shape I have left. As you can see on my brow, it is a little sparse towards the end, which is why, and then I don't make it too much thicker when I redo it, when I fill it in, but I wanted to keep it looking somewhat natural. So that's what we're gonna concentrate for the most part. The next part of this is, um, lately I've been using a specific brow pencil and everybody keeps asking me again, what brow pencil do you use? The one that I'm loving right now is, well, first I'm going to show you what I used to use and then you can see the difference. I was using, when my hair was darker, the Milani brow pencil. The writing has rubbed off, but this is what it looks like. It's gold, it has a spoolie on the end, and then it has the lead on the other end and you can twist it up to get that. But if, as you can see, the lead in the pencil is quite thick. It is also quite creamy and dark. It's not a thin tip. I don't even know if that's going to work. I wanted you guys to see the diameter. But that's what it comes out as. I now use the Kevin O'Quan pencil. It only comes in two color, two shades as of now. One is, um, I'm trying to get you to see the name. So that's Kevin O'Quan. The one that I use is the brunette. I don't know if y'all can see that. It also comes in ash blonde. This has the spoolie on the one end, just like the other brush, but the lead in this one is so much thinner. And this is the line you get. See how it, and it's very, um, it's like dry almost. It's not as emollient. You can see the difference in the lines that it gives you. You can draw like individual hairs and you can get a more precise line with this pencil, which is why I love it. It retails for $24. If you are in my area, they carry it at Nordstrom uh, in Annapolis and in Tyson's and then the salon that I work at, we are the only ones that carry it in, carry the Kevin O'Quan line in DC. Um, and then here again are the two pencils side by side. So you can see the difference in the tip. So that's why I'm loving this one. I do not really use this to fill in my whole brow because it is brunette, so it is a little bit darker. The ash blonde one is too light. When I did my training, the lady was telling me uh, when they only had, ash blonde just came out like a month or two ago. They only had brunette, and I was just like, I can't use this brunette pencil on everybody. I lied. I can. I've done it. I've done it on like the fairest blonde person to the darkest ebony person, and it works for some reason, across all those skin tones. I don't know what they did to it, um, but it worked. Skinny Hoovers. So I only use the brow pencil, this one, there's gonna be another one, to do the outline under my brow, like so. So I start again, outer corner, 
to draw the shape. I again pull the skin taut. I again try to get as close to the shape of the other brow as I can. So see how it's just the outline of the brow. Then I I do fill it in a little bit just to blend it so it's just not a line. Um, it kind of blends in with my natural brow hairs. And then I do go above but only on the very end, only on the outer corner because I want that particular shape. And then again, because the outer, my outer brow is very sparse, so I need to fill it in as much as possible. I do not use it to fill in the top portion of my brow. I have another pencil for that, which is this NYX light brown. Y'all can see I have used it up. And I take the light brown because it is closer to my hair color. And I use that to fill in the rest of the brow. Very light, feathery strokes, just to serve as my like brow lightener so that it matches the color of my brow. I mean, matches the color of my hair, sorry. And then I take it out because I did fill in that brow on the outer end more so I need to lighten the color just a smidge and I take it down to about here you can feel it it's like a little if you take a pencil and put it here it will tell you where to end your brow and then on to the next part okay last step I take my concealer um, and currently my concealer of choice is actually a foundation. It is the Kevin O'Quan Sensual Skin Enhancer in SX09. It is a peachy color. I don't know if the camera is going to pick that up. But most of the colors in the line are either beige or yellow tonality. This is the only peachy one. Uh, of the whole line before you get into the women of color shades and they're more on the red side. I put a little in the top of the container because a little goes a very long way and I take my MAC number 208 brush. You can use any angled brush with synthetic hair whichever is your preference and I do a little bit just I put some on the top, so then I tap a little bit again because a little goes a long way. And I just go under where I just outlined my brow just to make the shape a little more sharp and to highlight my brow. Sometimes I do go above if I didn't quite get the shape like I wanted to. On this side, I did not go above because I nailed the shape on the first try. This one, can't wear your glasses when you do your brows, so I have to kind of hope for the best when I do them. And then I blend it out with my fingers. But as I was saying, I'm not wearing any eye makeup. So me having my brows done, it will still, like if you do your brows and that's it and do a lip, and I'm doing a nude lip today. Oh, I did do a little, a little slight contour. It will still open your face up. It will make you look polished. So, that's my brow routine. Oh, teach a professional words a swing. Stay far when the nouns and the verbs are fling. Lyrically, this is a murder thing. But have it your way like Burger King. Six million ways to die, choose one. Six million tunes a day, new song. The one me kill your life on stage with a trap. Or, or no, wait till the album drop. Them some stop DJ and I sing. So, uh, but the gal them love when me sing. So, uh, all your gal love me to king power. But they no love me no far. Me no twin tower. Call me near my dance hall. You call me got the thoughts them apart. Different wall to wall, me drink street vibes rum, but me sober now, me flow 16.